Welcome back NYC Fragrance family. Got you another Happy Land fragrance today. Listen, you know what? I like them. EJ sends them to me. And I really can't complain. And I've suggested them on all my videos and people have gone out and picked some up and picked up samples and so forth. I won't say that I've gotten so many people to do it, but there have been a few and there have been some inquisitions about the brand. And I can't suggest it enough. You know, it's a good value proposition for what it is. So the fragrance that I'm going to talk to you about today is a somewhat unique one. Well, then again, unique to itself, but there are trends these days where this, the main note or one of the main notes is being used more and more in fragrances. And the fragrance I'm talking to you about is Geranibus. You see that? Nice black bottle, got the green label, got the picture of some cannabis on it. Typical Happy Land fashion. The notes in the fragrance are geranium, cannabis flower, tomato leaf, clary sage, orris root, clove, cinnamon, and a dash of oud. Yes, a dash of oud. So, the typical EJ sprayer. I think I got some of my eye right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little heavy there. Anyway, so my best way to describe this fragrance. If I was going out one night, not to say that I partake in this, but if I was to go out one night and I spray up my Chanel Egoise Platinum or around close to that or let's say you're a Blue de Chanel person and you sprayed up and you were smelling really good with that Chanel on, and then, you know, one of your friends is like, hey, man, I got, you know, something you want to do a little, you know. And then you do that, you mix the, that little smell that's left over when you're done smoking with the cologne that you're wearing, the fragrance that you're wearing, which would be that Chanel Egoise Platinum or that Blue de Chanel. And that is the vibe you would get. It's like taking one of those two fragrances, throwing a dash of cannabis in. But it's a fresh herbal cannabis note. It's not that skanky type smell that you may smell in your neighborhood sometimes this one is more herbal and it is what it is and described as an herbal fresh fragrance i i first put it on paper and it was more cannabis than anything else and this is why i think to some degree you know like we do the thing where i put it on a test strip to smell it while i'm to show you what i'm doing you know and that's more of a visual but I've come to the understanding, the more and more I get into this, is not to test on paper. Not to spray anything on paper. Try to keep your skin clean when things are coming in because you need to spray the stuff on your skin. It just totally smelled totally, totally different when I put it on versus when I tested it on paper. This fragrance, when I put it on, longevity, again, EJ's fragrances, astronomical. Your scent bubble is more than arm's length from, from your body, almost with every fragrance. It's definitely made well. Good, perf strong perfume oils get used when they, these fragrances are made. And you know what? Even with that cannabis note, I didn't find it offensive. I remember it, you know, having Hindu Kush from Mansara. That has a cannabis note. And that's a similar type fragrance, but... Because similar way that they use the cannabis, it's not offensive either. It's there, you pick it up, but it's not offensive. The difference here for me is this is more, the backbone of this fragrance is more of something that I would like, an aromatic fragrance, an aromatic fougere fragrance. With the notes that it has, it's more of a masculine, gentlemanly scent. And then there's that cannabis note in there. And that cannabis note is subtle enough to not make it overpowering. Because some cannabis fragrances could really be strong when it comes to that cannabis. You know, I wouldn't wear this to work even though we don't get drug tested, but you know, I wouldn't wear it to work just because you do detect that cannabis note. This is something after work at night that I would wear. So my recommendation is make this a nighttime fragrance, not a daytime fragrance, especially if you're wearing fragrances to work. Just my suggestion. So another good really good offering from the house of happy land and i'm happy that i have it 
and I'm happy that I'm going to get to wear it. If you guys are interested in Happy Land, leave in the comments below. Let me know what your favorites are. Let me know what you're into. Let me know if you know of any good cannabis fragrances that you might be interested in. New viewers, welcome. New subscribers, welcome. And my family that is part of my family, thank you for the continued support and continuing to watch me. And until the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.